Okay, guys. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm simply going to, I'm actually going to go ahead. It's cold. Uh, it dropped down. It was 77 degrees yesterday. Uh, and it's like in the mid-40s, lower 50s today. And tonight it's supposed to get uh, into the 30s. So I'm still going to use my hammock. Uh, they burned, as y'all can see. You can see tire tracks and stuff like that. Uh, this is a pioneer campground out here. I couldn't get into the woods because like I said before, I'm going to do a live for y'all tonight and I wanted to make sure I had signal. So uh, we're going to stay here tonight so that I can have that signal for you. And I'm going to throw up my, uh, my tarp and my hammock tonight. Um, and, and, uh, and I'm going to throw up my tarp and my hammock between the tree behind me and right here. Uh, have a nice little long fire maybe tonight. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out as we go. And it's going to be a good time. So let's get started. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock now. Uh, I got out here about an hour, hour and a half ago trying to find some signal on uh, some better spots like I was at last time. Uh, this place is the best one. We're gonna have uh, some people out here, so I don't wanna disturb them too much. But we're gonna set this uh, this hammock setup up, uh, see how it works out. There's not a whole lot of places that are good to set it up. Yeah, so let's get started. Let's set this thing up and uh, let me know what you think. Got a little med kit in here. Uh, using uh, you guys already know uh, about my Malami or my uh, Bushcraft Outfitters tarp that I'm going to be using, and uh, also have a uh, Malami tarp. It is windy, so I might regret this decision, guys, but I have an alternative plan to keeping me warm, so we'll see how it works out. As you can see, the uh, it slides like a curtain, guys. Um, so we're gonna fix that with this Prusik. That's why I love these things. Uh, all right, I'm gonna tie this off and I will show you guys as we're doing it. Okay, like I go around, okay. Actually kind of did it backwards, but. Oh, all right. I only go around and through twice, okay? Let's see how that, there we go, okay. See, I only go around, I have it right here, and then I'll go around one more time, right? Um, and the simple reason, and then that gives me, let's see, let's do it like this. And that gives me one, two, three, four, right? I do it like that because it won't move, but I can still slide it. You go around all three times. That is the proper Prusik knot. Right there, you have six, right? 
okay? Instead of going around that hole twice, you go through it three times, okay? So now you have all six, okay? And that is a much more stable, but it also is a lot harder to slide that way. But we're gonna do it this way. Um, there's not really much of a difference, I don't think, minus this one is more stable if you're trying to tie something off um, and like hang, hang something or anything like that. The other way works for me, just fine. Um, but we'll do it this way. Um, not a big deal. I just want to see the difference. And then keep it from sliding. I know my fingers are probably blocking the camera. Go through here and find a good dirty here. Zoom in on that. All right, guys, sorry about that. Uh, dropped you, the wind knocked you over. So, um, but either way works. Um, and then I just have a little toggle right here. Basically just stops that knot from coming through. Positions wherever I want it right there. So it's gonna stay there. We're gonna get this other one set up and uh set up right here rock set up right here okay now uh, honestly I wanted a little bit more of a setup so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a line from this tree there's my car full disclosure road right here to this tree and then make a triangle from this tree to this one and then I can attach the tarp on the ends and stretch it out a little bit more. All right, guys, here is my humble abode. I used a lot of paracord and I'll be honest, guys, I just want to be comfortable tonight. <laughs> so got my, uh, my tarp set up and I know it looks like on these ends, it is outside of that tent, but what's I lay in it? Once I lay in it, guys, it's not really a problem. Uh, if I start getting wet, I'll adjust it. But um, let's see if you can. As you can see, I have a little bit of length down at the bottom, and uh, I'm gonna set up a bedding system because I do not have an underquilt. Keep in mind, it's gonna be high 30s tonight with the wind um so i'm probably still going to be a little bit cold i'm going to put my sleeping pad in here uh and then i have i'm going to try a new sleeping system i have my sleeping pad in here and then i'm going to have a my red sleeping bag that y'all have seen and then i'm going to have my new uh mummy bag and the red sleeping bag is going to go inside the mummy bag i'm going to see how it works out um but we're gonna set that up. Um, nice little camping snack. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna sit and eat and uh, go ahead and set up my fire pit right here, a little bit closer to me. Um, set up my sleeping system, and then I will get back to you guys when that is built. 